to my channel today we will continue salesforce pd1 question and answer starting from question number 51 if you are new to this video don't forget to like share and subscribe let's get started we have solved the 50 um, uh, questions in above videos i have uploaded that we have to see in, uh, we can we have you will see that videos in my channel let's form let's go for the 51 number of question the num question number 51 which scenario is valid for execution by unit test options are option a load data from remote site with the call out option b set the created data of a record using a system method option c execute anonymous apex as a different user option d generate a visual force pdf with get context as pdf method the correct option is b set the correct set the created data as a record using a system method this is the correct option correct answer for this question let's move, in, move to the next question question number 52 a developer creates a new apex trigger with a helper class and writes a test class that only exercises 95 percent coverage of new apex helper class change change set development to production fails with the test coverage warning test code of selected apex trigger is 0 percent at least 1 percent test coverage is required what should the developer do to successfully deploy the new apex trigger and helper helper class the options are option number a create a test class and method to convert the apex trigger option b run the test using the run all test methods option c remove the following test method from the test class option c increase the test class coverage on the helper class the correct option and correct option answer for this question is the option number a is the correct option for this question moving to the next question question number 53 what are three characteristics of change set development options are option a change set can only be used between related organization option b chain set can be used to transfer records option c sending a chain set between two org requires a deployment connection option d chain set can deploy custom setting data option d option e deployment is done in one way single transaction the correct options are option number a chain set can only be used between related organization this is the correct option correct option and the second correct option is sending a chain set between two orgs requires a deployment connection this is also the correct option for this and the last correct option is e deployment is done in a one way single transaction these three are the correct correct answers for this question moving to the next question which three salesforce resource can be accessed from a lightning web component the options are option a is the third party web component option b is static resource option c is context asset files option d is svg resource and option e is all external libraries the correct option is static resource convert asset files and option d is svg resource these three are the correct option for this question going to the next question question number 55 
A developer has a requirement to create an order when opportunity reaches a closed one status. Which tool should be used to implement this requirement? Options are option A is a process builder, option B is a lightning component, option C is a lightning and option D is apex trigger. Option A is the correct answer. Process builder is the correct answer for this question. The next question. A recursive transaction is limited by DML statement creating records for those two objects, accounts and contacts. The account trigger hits a stack depth of 16 which statement is true regarding the outcome of the transaction the options are the option a is the tran the transaction fails only if contact triggers tag deep is greater than or equal to 16 option b is the transaction succeed as long as the contact triggers tag deep is less than 16 option c is the the transaction fails and all the changes are rolled back. Option D, the transaction succeeds and the, all the changes are committed to the database. The correct option for question number 56 is the correct. Option number C is the correct answer. The transaction fails and all the changes are rolled back. That is the correct answer for question number 56. Move to the next question. Question number 57. A developer is implementing an Apex class for a financial system. Within the class, the variables create amount and debit amount should not be able to change once a value is assigned. In which two ways can, be, can the developer declare the variables to ensure their value can only be assigned one time? We have to choose two options. The options are use the static keyword and assign its value in the class constructor. Use the final keyword and assign its value in the class constructor. Use the static keyword and assign its value in the static initializer. Use the final keyword and assign its value in the declaring the variable correct option is options are b is the correct option and also d is also the correct option for this question is b and d are the correct answers for this question moving to the next question a developer created a child lightning web component nested inside a parent lightning web component Parent component needs to pass a string value to the child component. In which two ways can ways can be com accomplished? We have to choose two options. The parent component can use a custom event to pass the data to the child component. The parent component can be can use the apex controller class to send data to the child component the parent component can invoke a method in a child component option d is the the parent component can use a public property to pass the pass the data to the child component the correct options are option number a is the correct option the parent component can use a custom event to pass the data to the child component. The next, second correct option is the option number D. Is the correct option. The parent component can use the public property to pass the data to the child component. To the next question. Question number 59. A developer has an integer variable can max item the developer needs to ensure that once max item is initialized it pre it pre 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 preserve its value 
for the length of apex transaction while being able to share the share the variable state between triggers execution how should the developer declare max attempts to meet this requirement the options are the option a declare attempts as a member variable on the trigger definition option b declare attempts as a private static variable on the helper class option d declare max attempts as a constant using the static and final keyword option d declare max attempts as a variable on a helper class helper class the correct option for this question is the option b is the correct option declare max attempts as a private static variable on the helper class this is the correct answer for this question going to the next question which standard field is required when creating a new contact record option uh, options are option a is the last name option b is the name option c is the account id and option d is the first name correct option for this question is the last name is the correct option and correct answer for this question we have solved the 60 questions of one one set of questions we have solved i have uploaded that that much videos uh, in my youtube channel you can see that in my youtube channel uh, we want if you want any uh, other videos and in more more any more questions please like comment on this video i will share more questions i have most of the questions from ask from the pd1 question that's all that's all for today's questions i hope this it will help you to learn something new don't forget to subscribe for the next set of questions thanks for watching see you in the next video thank you